All right, you guys, taking a look at a uh, 60,000 BTU carrier, two-ton coil. There's our supply, our return airdrop, our filter slash spacer, PVC, and then our drain running over the floor drain. So we're looking at replacing this this system. It goes, it controls a sunroom. We have a five-ton that was just installed a few years ago. Um, on that, so we'd like to still stick with the 60,000 BTU. We've got to modify the PVC return drop, can remain the same. Uh, we'll put our filter in and then just slide our furnace to the right a little bit. We'll be gaining some ground with the PVC coming in the top rather than into the side. Obviously, new switch, modified gas, sediment trap, drain. Again, like I said, running over the floor drain. Here's our coil, it's facing the other way, and that's a good thing. We can access it a little bit easier. <clears throat> uh, we do want to flare out our supply. So what we see currently is just deadheading right into the top of the duct. We want to flare that out, get airflow going that way. This is our panel, it's labeled as a 20 amp for the Eaton breaker for the AC. Uh, and then we do have a walkout, that's just right over here. And that's it. Oh, I'm bring up the water heater. I'll show you the back side of this. So we got a 50 gallon water heater sitting in between these two systems. We want to stick with a 50 gallon. Our flue piping is aluminum, so we got to replace all that back to the T. Got a four inch coming off of that T. We do have a good valve for the water or for the humidifier. We need to get our expansion tank cut into there. Put in a good valve for the shutoff. Modify the gas. Again, put in our drain valve. Uh, but everything can be brought out through the uh, slider there. And that's everything.